Inside Press Box is presented by Friedmont Mortgage. Don't make a 30-year mistake by choosing the wrong lender. Go to Friedmont.com now for all of your mortgage needs. And welcome to another edition of Inside Press Box and filling in for the sideline stand the fan Charles. I'm your host Gary Stein. We have a lot in store for you this week. We'll go inside the pages of Press Box with Press Box writer Simon Haptemerium to discuss yet another game-changing development for Towson Athletics, this time the departure of its athletic director Mike Waddell. We'll also hit the ice with the Baltimore Saints and head to Old Hilltop for some turf talk. But first, it was back to business in Owings Mills this week for the Ravens, just weeks before they head to Ocean City for the annual convention of Baltimore Ravens Roosts. And joining me now is Council Vice President and host of the Purple Pride Sports Show on Q1370, Bill West joining us. And Bill, welcome in. How are you? The 49th annual event. And and of course, next year, the Big 50. We'll talk about that in a minute. Everyone is themed. So what's the theme for number 49? Uh, 49 is fly like a raven. Fly like a raven. So what does that mean? The floats will kind of exhibit that? or you know, It was what, just a theme. Happen? Every year they have a committee and they come up with fly like a raven. So they put the raven birds and they have shirts and stuff. And uh, the shirts have the uh, two trophies on it, and uh, fly like a raven, and uh, keep flying high. So what Super are Bowl the, champions. Yeah, Super Bowl champions, absolutely right. right. So it's going to be a special one. What are the dates? Uh, we go. It starts Thursday on the 30th, 31st, and goes to the 1st of June. Okay. So, so in, in talking to you about this whole event and just the concept of what the Ravens roosts are, and I, I've lived in a few cities around, um, no other place in the country that has an NFL football team has an equivalent to what the Ravens' roosts are, at least as how big they are. What does it say about Baltimore that this is now in its 49th, almost 50th year of existence? It says that it, it always has a strong background as a football town. You know, when in the Colts left, they always said that, you know, in the NFL that uh, the Ravens, um, we would never get another football team here in Baltimore. Gary, and they said, you know, go to the museum. Go build a museum, museum, museum right. right. You know, in there. But the council of the Baltimore Ravens roost, which was the old Colts Corral, you know, stayed together when the Colts left town. And here we are. We're in the year number 49, strong. Just since 2007, we've been, been keeping record. $2.5 million given out to charities and, and players' uh, foundations and yeah, stuff. And, and that's interesting you say that because that's the story that nobody ever really talks about. Everybody kind of really talks about you guys as a, as a social group, a club, an organization. You guys drink some beers, have a good time, tailgate before the games, after the games, all that. Nobody ever really talks about the charitable side of it. And it's all volunteer work, too. Each, each sector of, of town has maybe four or five roosts in the area. We're from 15. I'm, I'm president of 15. We're in Arbutus. Um, and then you have Pasadena. You have, they have all the way to Hagerstown. We got Virginia now down there, all the way up to Hanover, Pennsylvania, York, PA, um, Ocean City, Maryland. Uh, there's two or three down there. I mean, in, it's up in Cumberland now, Westminster. So it's, it's a broad of people that come together for the organization for all volunteers giving back to players foundation uh special olympics is one of our large ones polar bear plunge right hit over the million dollar mark this year giving to the special olympics so it's it's a a family of football driven football club but giving back charity so you get both you enjoy football and you give back to charities now you've been involved since about 1990 mm -hmm. uh football left here in the form of the colts left here in 84 not to come back till 96. What did the Roosts do? How did the Roosts keep it alive for 12 years with no football? Kept all the same charities, kept their benefit dances and whatever they gave through there, but you had the stars and you had- Stallions. And stallions. Right. So they built around that. They went to the games, they bought tickets and they supported that hoping that there, and then our good friend and well-missed Art Modell, mm decided in 1996 to bring us the Baltimore Ravens. When, when is he going to go into the Hall of Fame already? I, I've been on it. I even <laughs> campaigned. We even did a petition years ago, thousands and thousands of names to the NFL to get him in the Should have been a long time ago, Gary. Yeah. Well, listen, it's going to be special this year because of the Ravens winning the Super Bowl, obviously. But Correct. give us the details again for number 49 coming up. Uh, it uh, starts Thursday, Friday, and Saturday next week. Saturday's the big parade. You want to come down. It goes uh, all the way up the avenue. Uh, and you have floats, everything going on. Players are coming down Friday night. Uh, thank the Ravens for that and their organization. Uh, coming down Friday night, they'll stay Saturday, get into the parade, and then uh, 
everything will go on Friday night and Saturday, and then I pray to finish it up, and then everybody will go home on Sunday. If you're a last-minute guy and you don't have a hotel room, but you're hearing this right now and you want to go, is it too late? It's two things with that. Okay. If you want to be part of the activities that go on with the council, you got to be registered with the roost. Right. But if you want to come down just to watch the parade and all, then you get a hotel yourself and stand right down and watch the parade. All right. And it's a great job. And our good friend from Press Box, Joe Platania, does the parade every year. Well, it's interesting you mentioned him because we got him coming up. Thank you so Thank much. Gary, we really appreciate that. Call. Hang and out while we're talking Ravens. Let's check in with Press Box Ravens beat reporter Joe Platania, who uh, Bill was just talking about. Joe, uh, OTAs, I guess let's talk some Ravens here. OTAs means organized team activities. The Ravens underwent that this week. You've been out there as you have been for the last 16 years. What have you seen so far from this group of Ravens? Well, of course, uh, the organized team activities, three weeks of them got underway this particular week out at the Under Armour Performance Center. And it's always hard to tell uh, what the team is going to be doing when they're going half speed in shorts and shells. But it's always good to see the guys back on the field to you know, work off whatever rust they might have. I think the two main headlines that came out of the one media access day were the fact that, number one, only seven players were not there in any form. You had 83 out of the 90 there. And number two, the news came that uh, second-round pick Arthur Brown, who has now agreed to contract terms, uh, he has a sports hernia surgery. He'll be out another month. They'll probably uh, lay him out for the rest of the OTA and mini camp period, and we'll see him when training camp starts on July 21st. But uh, for the most part, the guys were in uh, fairly good shape. Nobody showed up uh, looking uh, really, really big or really, really small. Uh, I know a couple comments have been made about uh, uh, Courtney Upshaw and a couple of the other guys, but they didn't seem as excessively uh, uh, overcome by weight gain as Haloti Nato was last year. And uh, it just looks like a group that's working at a high tempo, as John Harbaugh said. They, they try to be as physical and work as hard as they can, although there are limits to those things. As we remember, the Ravens got some OTA dates taken away from them a couple years ago hmm. for excessive physicality. But John Harbaugh, he loves the process. He loves the team to work hard and be fast and tough and all that sort of thing. And they seem to be in good spirits and working at a good tempo the one day the media was allowed in this week. Joey P, sounds good as usual. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Okay, thank you. That is Joe Platania. Thanks again for joining us, Joe. Thank you, Bill, for coming in and talking some Ravens football with us. We'll take a time out when we come back. Pimlico's Frank Carulli talks turf racing, and I'll discuss Towson sports with Simon Haptimerium. Stay tuned. Inside Press Box is presented by Friedmont Mortgage. Don't make a 30-year mistake by choosing the wrong lender. Go to Friedmont.com now for all of your mortgage needs. 